Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the lands of Carthage. Where Spain has just declared on Grenada. And Austria did not join Grenada in the war. Because I don't know why. But, yeah, that sucks. So I'm seriously considering allying Grenada and letting them calling me in. Because, I don't know, can we fight that? I think we might be able to win the naval battle. It'd be tough. Because Portugal's got 14 heavies. It'd be tough. We might be able to win. Especially if we catch them off guard. No, they're all docked up right there. We wouldn't catch them off guard. But we might be able to engage these guys separately. And we have an admiral. He does not. If we can engage these guys separately and whittle down his trade fleet, that would be interesting. But before we even consider it, I want to build some more galleys. Galleys are the lifeblood of our combat here in the Mediterranean. The more of those we have, the better we'll fight. 14 heavies, though, that's, that's a lot of fucking heavies. And we wouldn't be the leader in the war, so the Ottomans wouldn't join. That's kind of the, that's kind of the thing, right? We wouldn't be the leader, so the Ottomans wouldn't join. Not only that, but I have a fucking truce. Why do I have a truce and Grenada not have a truce? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but... The peace deal with Spain is the same peace deal that we had with Grenada. Because in that peace deal with Spain, we made them release Grenada. That means... Our truce with Spain should be gone since the truce between Spain and Grenada is gone. But it's not. Our truce with Spain is for another eight years. Why is he able to attack Grenada before his truce with me is gone? That doesn't make any sense. Our truce isn't even gone. I don't understand. Paradox. That does not make any sense. It's the same peace deal. The same peace deal from the same war should last the same amount of time for all participants. That is crap. No, he didn't break truce. He did not break truce. You can tell because he's at plus one stab. That's crap. That They just have different truce timers. They shouldn't. They have different truce timers. That's stupid. Paradox. Come on now. Come on now, Mr. Paradox, if that is your real name. Oh, that's so stupid. I'm going to build some more ships, and we're going to see if we can catch this Portuguese fleet, but I don't know. I'll do my best. God, that fucking sucks. That, that Austria, why didn't you join the war? You're not even at war. God damn it, Austria. God damn it, Austria. God damn it, Austria. God damn it, Austria. Hey, France. Come on, we're at plus 94. Just take a fucking alliance, France. Why can't we take an alliance? I'm so sick of Spain. I'm so sick of Spain. If I ally him, I don't even know if he can call me in because I still have an eight-year truce. Maybe?
well, at least the war in the east is going fine. But, wow. I'm just... Ugh. I'm sick. I'm sick of that. It's sad. Very sad. In my pants. Even if we beat their navy, can we do anything against their army? At all? Uh, well, they're not on the first page. Spain has 23. Portugal has more. Portugal has 30. And I have... I got 27. <laughs> oh, man. Well, just not feeling it, man. I'm not feeling it, you know? I really do want to get in there and help Grenada, Grenada, whatever. But it doesn't look that possible. I don't know. I don't know what we can do. Crete has collapsed again. He just keeps collapsing. He collapses every couple of years. Portugal annex Galicia. All right, goodbye, Galicia. Let's start getting our army up to snuff. soldiers bring us up to 24 uh, but we're, we have nine mercenaries that we have to delete so get those soldiers built and we'll delete the mercs actually having the mercs is not that bad as long as we can afford it the mercs are not bad No, I, I don't think I can enforce peace because I have a truce with Spain. some more cannons, but get the cab first. How is this war still going? I don't know. Ottomans are being greedy, which is fine. I think we do take the colonist here. No. That's that's another thing. If I join the war, I'm going to lose my colony. Not that it matters that much, but I would for sure lose the colony. I'll hold on to my points, I think. Well, naval force limit's 25. is pretty nice. And what's the last bonus? Global trade plus 10. That's pretty nice as well. And I'm tempted to go for the shit. <laughs> now we'll hold off. And go half maintenance. Oh man, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no. France has changed missions from an ex Savoy to an ex Genoa. God damn it, France. Why did you change your mission? So now he hates me. Negative 200. Wants your provinces. Fucking hell, France.
We, we had really good relations. It's just always neutral. Why so neutral? God damn it. God damn it, France. Oh, Grenadas get claims. Nice. I like claims. Start getting some cannons. Thirty-two ducats. Damn, I got what like tons of inflation. Seven point four inflation. Right, because we have a gold mine now. That's right. We annexed Morocco, who had a gold mine. Shoot. And there's no inflation guy. Okay. Yeesh. Um, I guess I have to pay it down. This is bad. God damn. Because it makes everything more expensive. Wait, Venice is improving relations? Really? Venice is threatened. Huh. Okay. Everyone's still neutral. 103, neutral. 87, neutral. Fuck. Oh, Russia's at war. What happened? Russia declared on Crimea. Oh, God. The Russian conquest of Crimea. Yeah, that's, that's a war, all right. So who's in that war on Ottoman side? Nobody, really. It's just the Timurids. Okay. So the Ottomans are busy for a while. Alright, I think now's a good time to hop out, get our navy ready to rock, uh, and just wait for the Portuguese navy to sail by. Fund the army all the way. Okay. Alright, where's Portuguese navy? There he is. Let's get some more galleys. Albania is over here with the transport. Albania, where are you going? Is he sailing to Russia? Albania has a transport in the Strait of Gibraltar. He might be sailing to Russia. I don't know. Maybe I can follow him a little deeper. Scotland versus England. Oh, is it a colonial war? Could be. Nope, it's straight up war. And Scotland is no longer guaranteed by France, although he is allied to France, which means France will join, because that's an English offensive war. Yup, there you go. Holy shit. England, are you crazy? I don't know, he has Ferrara on his side, but I still think he's crazy. He might lose Ferrara as a vassal here. It would be amazing if France forced him to, to uh, release Ferrara. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen in that war. That is a big war, though. Holy shit. Alright, there he is. He's going to Barbary Coast. I'll meet you there, bro. coming this way now. Alright, I'll just stay here. I'll let him come to us. There we go. On the 11th of October. Okay, so on the 10th, we'll try to join the war. Oh, I don't have... 
I don't have uh, my diplomat ready. Shit. Shit. Nope, I gotta wait until he comes back now, because he's on his way going. Yeah, okay. Shit, don't finish the siege. I'm not ready. My body is not ready. My body is not ready. Jesus, France. He just... <sighs> fucking hell, France. Uh, he went from plus 95 to negative 129, like a snap of a finger. It's fucking crazy. Fucking crazy. Okay, so if I ally now... Then he can call me in, and I can accept the call when Portuguese Navy comes by. That sounds like a plan. Put me in, coach. Where's the call? Wait, are you not going to call me in because you're losing? Oh shit, he may not call me in because he's already losing. No, I need you to call me in. Oh, he's probably not going to call me in because he's losing. Shit... Please call me in. Balls. He's not going to call me in. And I can't enforce peace because we still have eight years of truce. Well, fuck. I'm going to get relations up with Russia. If he doesn't call me in, he's just not going to call me in. I'm very sad. I guess we don't need to fund the army anymore. Darn it. That really sucks. That that really, really sucks. Oh, you guys finished your war. He still has the same allies. All he did was full annex Katsina, that's all. So he didn't get enough aggressive expansion for anyone to hate him. Darn it. All right. Well, let's kill the mercs. Well, maybe we'll keep we'll keep him for a little bit. It's only six. Yep. There's Russia. Hello. Hi, Russia. Grenada. I wonder if he's going to get full an extra or not. Probably. I mean, he's just going to get 100% an extra, right? His total cost is only 48. Hmm. Options are so limited here. How do we actually get in? France, are you still the defender of the fucking faith? Yeah, of course you are. How am I supposed to fight anyone in Europe if France is the fucking defender of the faith? That's stupid. Alright, well that's it for Grenada, I guess. Speed up. Nothing I can do there. Let's get some more claims on the Mamelukes.
building temples. Because they're awesome. They really are awesome. Poland is trying to westernize again. Good luck. Lithuania is trying to westernize. Yep, there goes Grenada. Well, that happened. Man, that sucks. They do have a little bit of unrest because they were recently annexed. Maybe we can get some rebels to spawn? That's worth pursuing, I think. Let's see if we can get some rebels to spawn here. This is probably the only chance we're ever going to get for rebels. And I have money coming in at a decent rate, so we could fund max funding, I guess, for rebels. And just hope that they spawn. There's really no chance that they'll spawn, but it is worth a shot. Thirty-three ducats a month. Jesus, that's expensive. How about I go for eighteen ducats? That's what I can afford. Okay. Point eight. I wonder what the chances are of them actually getting some rebels. Probably quite low. Ooh, Greek Patriots. They would probably flip to Crete, because they're the only independent Greek nation. That's not true. No, yeah, Theodore is Gothic. finished our mission for Turkey against Lithuania and we did that mainly because his troops are dying to rebels rival of a threat Russia I would love to get that to 125 colonize Trinidad is a better one though let's go ahead and do that and I'll take the idea for a second colonist and we'll go colonize Trinidad we'll abandon it right away though These guys would fucking spawn. If they spawn with like 40 troops, that'd be amazing. New trade research is heretical. Who's prestige? Prestige is not so important. Well, it's sort of important. Wow, Russia's just crushing. please why is this war still going I mean come on Autumn it's just peace out you got the one you wanted right how many claims do you have here a lot no he wants to siege all of his claims okay whatever he just wants everything successfully colonized Trinidad. I'm not going to keep him there, though. Uh, it's a really good chance it'll just explode, so just get rid of that. We'll abandon that colony. It's fine. I, I would think I would like to get the Dolly, if possible. Or St. Vincent, if possible. Oh no, our theologian died. Replace that man. got pretenders, that's fine. Oh jeez. Huge unrest. What's with the unrest? What in the world? 
I don't know, something happened here and all of a sudden there's a ton of unrest. Base plus nine. Must have had an event or something. That's pretty bad unrest. Hey, Paradox. Just a suggestion, but... When listing allies, like right here, when you're listing allies, how about you organize it and have the strongest allies in the front and then the weakest allies at the back? So instead of putting Russia at the end, you should say Russia's at the beginning. Saxe Lauenberg should probably be at the end. Just saying, be, just read a lot easier that way. Rival of our rival, Russia. Russia. Yeah, I would love to do those, man. But I don't think I can get relations up that high. Oh man, if these rebels could actually spawn, that'd be awesome. I have call for peace. Oh, come on, Ottomans. I have call for peace. Ottomans. Come on, I have call for peace. Just end the war. End the fucking war. Ottomans. Do you not care that I have call for peace? Wow, he is super stubborn. He doesn't give a single shit. Colonist arrived in St. Vincent. Good, good. It's our second attempt at getting St. Vincent. Alright, I think we've claimed everything we can over here. Let me check. Yeah, that's everything I want to claim. So maybe we should start claiming Elodia. Go eat up these guys. Nom nom nom. Coptics. better than attacking the Sunnis. Well, sort of better. Maybe not better. I don't know. Oh, for fuck's sake, Autumn is just peace out of the goddamn war. He's trying to fight Russia and Karkoino at the same time. It's just a bad idea. Just peace out of one of the wars. You fucker. Oh, Bohemia is now the emperor. Really? Yeah, Bohemia has been elected. Okay. And he just added a whole bunch of lands to the empire, including Warsaw. Sure, why not? Warsaw's part of the HRE. Look at that HRE, Jesus. Elodia has religious ideas? Nope, he doesn't. What's the cost to annex the city at? 120. God damn it, why is everyone I border over 100 cost to annex? Everyone is over 100. So miserable. Oh shit, Genoa has rebels. Probably because he has call for peace. Hey, Ottomans, will you fucking peace out of this war, you little shit? Come on, man. Fucking call for peace. And Alter Gracia is complete. Beautiful. Look at this, our first colony! Uh, where next? Probably Maracaibo. Yeah. I'll try to get the coastline there, as much of it as possible. No rebels yet? Oh, he's lowering it massively. How is he lowering it? I can't even tell. Even though I have land on the other side of the water here, it won't show me any data until my ship sails by. It's so fucking stupid. I guess I could just undock this guy. It's probably quicker. What do you see? Um, <laughs> I actually have no idea, but something changed and all of a sudden it's gone down by about 4%. So it looks like there's going to be no rebels there. But I'll keep funding him as long as I can afford it. Oh, 
Ottomans just, just peace out of the war for fuck's sake it's thank god okay <laughs> he took Rab Raba, Mush Trebzund Tadmor Erzurum Samchike, Vaughn and Serzi so he took 8 provinces wow 22 aggressive expansion His heat map is pretty mild, though. And yeah, he desires the lands of my vassal, Moria. But that's okay. As long as he keeps the alliance, I don't care. Oh man, England is wrecking Scotland. France... France cannot land troops because England's navy is the best in the world, right? Am I right? Yeah, England's navy is fucking strong. Get another claim on your dumbass. Huh, Alodia has Muslim tech group. Interesting, even though he's Coptic. For some reason, France is not actually sieging up Ferrara. It's quite odd, really. Colony arrived, very good. Salzburg became vassals of Austria. Yeah, he's just peacefully vassalizing, which is fine. He's doing a good job, really. Russia is an administrative monarchy, okay. What if we could get some more power projections somehow? We can't embargo our... We can't embargo Spain and Portugal because we have a truce. Actually, our truce is up with Portugal. But we can't embargo them. I know we can, we can, we can. And we can insult them too. God, 18 ducats a month for this shit, and it's not, not really giving us anything. I need you guys to spawn rebels. Really, what I need is a war between France and Spain. Move our trade capital. It costs 300 diplo. I don't have 300 diplo. Yet. Paris has flipped to Protestant. Look at that. That's new. Noble family requests aid. Lose money or lose 50 admin. I think I'd rather lose the money. Alright, I'm going to cancel support for the rebels just temporarily. They still have revolt risk, so I can support them again later. Uh, but let's see if we can save up some cash and pay this off instead of uh, losing 50 admin. So for now, let's embargo Portugal. Little shit bag. Oh, that gave us half a ducat. Nice. I wish I could embargo Spain, but you know, truce and all that jazz. Uh, let's go top off Francie Pants again, just in case he changes his opinion on that mission. How's Russia doing in his war? He is winning by a little bit, but not enough to make any demands. Interesting. Interesting. The Ottomans are actually fighting pretty hard for their ally. Wow. 
Impressive. Lithuania is still trying to westernize. I wonder how much progress he's made. He's at negative three stability. Goodness, Lithuania. Goodness. Turn St. Vincent into a city. We'll get one base tax and 21 manpower. Eh, not the most useful thing ever, considering, you know, once it becomes a trade colony, or once it becomes a colony, it doesn't really benefit us that much, but probably still worth doing. I mean, these other missions suck. Well, this one will give us more manpower and army tradition, but still, I'm not going to build any forts over there. I'll take the base tax. Whatever. Okay. So we have our claims on Elodia. Oh, he's got rebels. Oh, good. Oh, Elodia's going to lose some land. Oh, this is perfect. So he's going to lose land here, and that means he'll be small enough to annex. Goody. Goody. Let's preemptively send some troops over there. Scotland pieced out Norway. Okay. Ooh. Jihad against Warsongali. Oh, goodness. Okay. Why not? So the Mamluks are now fighting Hedges, and I think that was the Mamluks, like, second... Yeah. Mamluks only had two allies, and one of them's gone now. If they're fighting each other. Fun! Now we can also go eat Medribari, Vassal of Ethiopia. Oh, I can fabricate on these guys, too. Ooh. 102%. You don't say. You don't say. 162%. Well, it's probably still worth getting claims. I mean, at the very least, we'll have some fucking claims, right? Get some, some fucking claims. Oh, it's his capital, so I can't. All right, but I can do this one. Okay. Oh, there goes our cash. Looks like we are going to take a loan. Damn it. All right, let's move our trade capital. Let's see how much income difference it makes, because we're currently making 6.5 ducats on this node. Move my trade capital here to Tangiers and see what happens. Or you just move our regular capital there. You cannot move the Tunisian capital out of Carthage. Really? Tunis can't move their capital? Why? You cannot move the Tunisian capital out of Carthage. Why? Why can't Tunis move their capital? I don't know. Oh, well, let's move our trade capital to Tangiers. Done. So our income is going to go from 6.5 to what? Piss off all of our vassals. Okay. Come on. 11.7! Woohoo! We just gained another five ducats a month just by moving our trade capital. That's nice. That's nice. Alright, how big is that loan? 136, okay. We're actually getting more than Spain because Spain doesn't have a navy. Wow. Why is it a negative? Because we're embargoed by Portugal. Portugal's causing us negative 29. Oh, he's got huge bonuses. Lucky Nation plus 10%. Found the, the Casa da India plus 10%. So he's got 20% he's got bonus just from those two things. What else? What, what's going on? Trade efficiency, 27%. Oh, my trade efficiency sucks. So we need to get our trade efficiency up. And to do that, we just need technology, really. Trade efficiency goes up at tech 10 and tech 16. Yep. He probably has trade ideas. No, he doesn't. Okay. 
Oh, but just being Portugal, he gets trade bonuses. Okay, that's right. That's fine. Uh, we will get trade bonuses as well at the very end, right? Global trade power. Yeah. But that's not efficiency. That's just trade power. Efficiency is really good. <laughs> trade power is different. So if we collect in Tunis, what would we get? Maybe a ducat? Let's try collecting in Tunis. Let's see if that changes anything. Oh, we'll wait until next month. Okay. Or not collecting Tunis, but transferred from Tunis. We may actually want to try transfer Tunis and transfer Safi. Alexander I know it is not bad, but it's not that great. Let's see what happens if we transfer Tunis and transfer Safi. We're going from 13.7 ducats. At the end of the month, we'll find out. Come on, tell me it's like 15. Nope, oh, it's about the same, 13.3. I'll stick with it, because as we build more ships, and our, our fleet limit has gone up, by the way, as we build more ships, we'll be able to wrest more control of this node. Lots of competition, though. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Sorry for the long episode. We did get our trade capital move. We're making some decent cash now on trade. Uh, we can certainly make more as time goes on. France has decided to change his mission to We Hate Tunisia. Thanks, France. And everyone in Europe is still neutral. No matter what I do, everyone is fucking neutral. Everyone is neutral. Everyone. I wish it weren't this way, because I've been working really hard to get relations up with people, and they're still fucking neutral. The only one who's not is Ferrara, and that's because he's a fucking vassal. And Venice. Actually, Venice, that's not a bad thing. Venice being threatened is actually really, really cool. We might be able to use that to our benefit somehow. I don't know how, but maybe we can find a way to use that to our benefit. I wish I could attack Crete, because it's my vassal's claim, and I wish I could attack Corsica, because it's my vassal's core. But someone, France, happens to be the defender of the faith. So I just can't attack any Catholics right now. I just, I, there's no way I can attack France. That would just be the dumbest thing ever. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.